Hey YouTube, Metal Duck 9. Um, I got my Lightshorn deck all built and ready for March format. Um, this is going to be my pre Extreme Victory build because once Necro Defender comes out, I'm definitely going to change the deck around to play that card because it's going to be really, really good in Lightshorn. If you guys don't know what it does, I'll post a link in the description on what the card is and what it does. It's basically a really, really nice replacement for the Necro Gardens we don't have. So, yeah, um, I've been playing Lightshorn for a very long time for years actually so um, I know the deck inside and out and every format you have to build the deck differently to do well like last format the deck needed a more Celestia oriented build but this format I feel you need more protection in the deck so yeah um, I've been playing it for a long time so um, I have really good insight into the deck so I'm going to show you guys how you should be playing it got two JDs of course this is 42, so I'm playing three wolves. Um, if you're going 40, definitely play two because three will be really dead. But with 42, you're really not going to dead draw with it too much. So yeah, I would play three because like it's the main way Light Swarm pluses is the wolf mills, and again with 42, it's really not that bad. Um, two Celestia um, with Honest Limited. I don't feel you should run three anymore because it'll be dead too much, and you want to you know you want to have consistency and I really wouldn't play three anymore it's just not good two Lila's um, Lila should be a two basically for every format like two Lila's fine so it's, it's a plus if you get it off and if and it baits outs which is its main job it's good okay three Rikos um I feel with honest limited you gotta max on the Rikos for protection um Rikos a very annoying card for a lot of decks to deal with so Three definitely is great now. I've been playtesting it. It's been working out awesome. And it works out. One Garoth, you know, beater, drawer. One Jane, beat stick. It's pretty good. One Lumina, of course. Now these are the non light swarms. Two card troopers. Everyone should be playing two card troopers. Like, I've been seeing a lot of videos playing one or none. I don't understand it. They bumped it up to two. It's a very, very good mill engine. The preemptive mill is awesome. The plus one is awesome. I don't understand why anyone would play less than two. This card is amazing in Light Sworn at two now. And this is where some of the tech starts. Two Thunder King Ryo. I love Thunder King this format. Before I was I wasn't really much of a fan of it because it was kind of slow and Light Sworn needed the extra speed, but now I feel that Thunder King really helps stop against Sam's and it does good work against X Sabres too, which will be big now, I guarantee you. I have a Saber deck also that I just finished up and it's playtesting wonderfully with the new format, so yeah, I would definitely play two Thunder Kings now. Like it really goes well with the theme too. And Glow Bulb, I really don't understand why people are running Plague Spreader over Glow Bulb. Like with Goyo Guardian banned, like Plague Spreader just isn't that good anymore. Like I took it out, and I'm just going with the Glow Bulb, which I find much more useful for level fives like a Taster or the level eight with the Lumina Plague. Um, like. Think about it this way, like Plague Spreader, it sets you back a turn, and the times you really use Plague Spreader are when you're in a bad spot anyway, and if they have an answer for it, which they probably will, like, you just made yourself in an even worse spot, and Plague Spreader also is pretty dead a lot of the time, like, I've been drawing it a lot, and I, I'm, I took it out, and I don't miss it. I think Bulb is a much better choice. The one Honest, uh, kind of sucks that they limited it, but you really can't do much about it, like, it's still there a lot, well, not a lot, but, like, enough. And the one Gardner. Okay, that's the monsters spells. Triple recharge, of course. Now I'm all I'm playing three gold sarks. I love it. It's really really good because I'm playing more protection in this deck with like the three Rikos to stall out the turns for the gold sarks and well Ryko mills at the same time. And I'm playing a few back rows in here. So I think three gold sark is great to get you exactly what you need. Like if you need the charge to speed up your game, if you want to grab the judgment dragon so you don't mill it later. I love three sark. It's going it's going great. Um, two MSTs. Um, I wasn't so much of a fan of MST in the main before, but for this format with Cold Wave gone, and all we have left is True Nade. Um, Heavy Storm didn't come back, and also this card does a lot of good work against Sam's and Grave Keepers. You just pop the Necro Valley, you pop the um, Gateway or the United, and it slows them down. So, and also like back rows are mainly Light Sworn's biggest problem. So, it just plucks off a back row for you. Like, I, I think it's good. Two Pot of Avarice. Um, I'm not playing Beckoning Light or Monster Reincarnation. I might sound dumb, but it really actually you don't need it. 
because a couple reasons. One, Beckoning Light is dead until very late game, and you want to, like, make your build consistent. And, I don't know, I don't like Beckoning Light so much anymore because, also, two, Trapstone's going to be everywhere now, so they'll most likely have an answer for your Beckoning Light. Well, Avarice is very hard to stop, outside for like, Solemn Judgment, or Game 2, Game 3, GD Crow. And also, Avarice is more live mid-game, so, and, it's, and it's a plus one. And also, Avarice gets things back like Heart Trooper into your deck, which you can't really do with Beckoning Lighter. You'll have the minus to do with Monster Reincarnation, which I don't recommend. So, Avarice, because Heart Trooper is like the engine now, so I love double Avarice right now. It really goes well with what I have for the deck in total. One Book of Moon? Like, why not? Like, books at once, so I think it should be staple everywhere, even in Lightsworn. The One Charge, Dark Hole, True Nade, Reborn, that spells, Traps, Two Solemn Morning. I love Solemn Morning. I, th I feel Lightsworn should run it because I feel every deck should run it. Like, Solemn Morning, stop the initial Sam Summon, stop the initial Bogart Knight. It does work, it does a lot of good work. Call the Haunted. I like Call the Haunted. You can get back, like, the one Honest. You can get back the Card Trooper. You can chain it to an MST to get back that Card Trooper plus one. It's very versatile. I like to set up for a Celestia play and bounce the Honest, like as I said. Um, I like Call the Haunted. It's good. Mirror Force. I can't see myself playing a deck without Mirror Force. Like, I know some people don't like it, but I love Mirror Force. It's just that card I can't take out. And lastly, Torrential. Um, you know, Torrential is just an excellent card, and... Your opponent's always playing around Torrential because they're scared of it, so I love Torrential. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, it's very good. I've been testing it, and it's been doing a lot of work. So yeah, that's my take on how Lightsworn should be done until Extreme Victory. So yeah, leave a comment and tell me about other things that you'd want to see on my channel. Like I'm going to be posting up a few other decks that I've made, but I mainly just post up Lightsworn first because that's my main deck. That's my biggest priority. So, yeah, peace out, YouTube.